Okay guys, so we're back in our uh, scene here. We've got a standard wall and then we've got our cornered wall. Um, if you haven't done these already, if you look back on my last couple of tutorials, it'll take you through how to do them. Um, so in this one, we're gonna do a segment of this wall that has a window in it. Okay, so first things first is we need to duplicate this wall. So similar to the last tutorial, just hold down shift and move it over. Uh, so what I want to do here is want to divide this up first. So we've got that rough kind of wall segment, um, just with a, a window outline on it, and then we're just going to delete it. And we're going to rebuild some of the polygons for it. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do this. Some people use uh, boolean operators, um, but I just prefer to um, just use the connect tool and then just delete some stuff. Okay. So um, again, a couple ways you can do this. You can grab this edge here, so all I'm doing is just quickly flicking on the edge mode here and I'm going to grab the other edge, sit the opposite of it and from there we can do a connect Okay. Um, so for the number we want to have it set to 2 um, which is basically going to give us the top and the bottom of the window um, obviously we can pinch them as well depending on where we need it to sit on the wall, all this can be modified later on so I'm not too fussed um, about where it sits and then obviously we can shift it, we can slide it up and down. Um, so that looks like it's probably going to be a about right. Um, we really don't have to kind of worry ourselves too much about it because we can, we can always modify this stuff later on. Uh, from there you just hit OK and then you want to connect it vertically as well. OK, so you want to do the same operation but down this way. Um, what I'm going to do here is just to demonstrate that, day, I just did it just on the front face. So you notice I want to connect it to the front. Uh, so I'm just going to go back and I'll do it for the whole face. And the reason why is we're going to, we're actually going to need that hole on the other side as well. Okay, so if I just click and drag, now I've got all four of those edges. And I'm just going to do the same, just connect. Um, shift to all, maybe I'm happy with it. That looks about right. Um, and then I'm just going to OK that. OK, so that's fine. Um, and there we've got to run the whole way around the model. So now what we want to do is the same thing, but we want to do it in the opposite direction. So whenever you're using the Connect tool, if you just remember, it's much like Maya's Edge Loop tool. The the cuts you put in place go, that, go perpendicular to what you're working on. So because I've selected a load of horizontal edges here, uh, my cuts are going to go in vertical. So from there, it's going to go in the Connect settings again. Um, might want to just reset this to start off with. Okay, so zero is just going to knock that back in the middle, um, and then you can just adjust it. It seems maybe it seems a little bit wide, so we can taper it under maybe about twenty five. So that looks okay. Okay, um, so from there, this looks fine. What we want to do is just we want to change our mode now into polygon mode. We want to select this polygon on the front. Well, hit delete on your keyboard and that's just cut through and made that hole for the window now and then you want to do the same on the back of your model as well so click on it once just hit delete okay so if you model your stuff properly now you'll notice it's totally hollow inside and that's a good thing because we're not using up extra polygon counts um, so from here we want to fill in these holes basically we could put a texture on there uh, if it's going to go in a game, we can have a character going through this window and they wouldn't fall in this weird little gap in the middle and get stuck. Uh, so there's a couple, again, a couple of ways we can do this. I'm just going to do it one way today. Um, I'm going to choose this option just beside polygons. It's called borders. Um, and what a border is, is it's a loop of edges around kind of like an empty space. So you see when I click on it there, 3D Studio Max goes around here and it realizes there's an empty space for a polygon there and it can grab that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that one and I'm actually just going to hold down control I'm going to select this other one as well. So I've got those two borders and these two borders are sitting exactly in line with each other. So if I go to bridge, you notice it bridges the polygons across there for me. Okay, so dead simple, it's made those polygons. Uh, the other way of doing it, some people would might prefer to do is you can do it actually one edge at a time 
So you grab those two, bridge it, and then you can grab those two and bridge it. It just basically depends whatever way it works best for you. Um, some people prefer to do it one one at a time. Um, so all a bridge does is it takes one edge um, to another edge and it builds a gap across the two and basically builds a bridge between them. Um, you, you've also got options for your bridge as well where you can turn up and down the number of divisions but we don't want any divisions for these. Okay. Um, so that's us done. Dead, and again, dead simple. Um, really, really easy to do. We're just reusing one of the, the earlier assets. Okay. Um, so in the next tutorial, we're, we're just going to take the same model. We're going to modify it. So we've got a a door frame. Um, so it's really important. Just keep this model, and then we'll continue on the next one. So I should say, uh, just like, subscribe, all that jazz.